Hi there, it's Sine again, coming at you with another unscripted video. Today we're going to take a look at backing up your database, backing up your blog. Now, you may not know this, but WordPress uh, is simply software. It is um, the ability for you to use the software to insert posts, pages, links, um, things of that nature. Uh, and each one of those insertions are housed in a table inside your database. Now, in the event of a server crash or a hack, um, that database can be lost. Now this is all your work. This is everything you've done over time. So uh, we want to take a look at a video on how to back that up daily uh, and even how to have it email you and you know so that you have it there on you know on your local computer in the event of a, cat a catastrophe you can reload that. So this video excerpt is a part of a larger video I've done. So let's take a look at backing up your database, your WordPress database. Ready? Come on, let's get started. Oh, wait, wait, by the way, look down below. I have buttons for you to rate, share, or comment on this video. Really appreciate it if you take a moment to do that. Thanks. Okay, to get started, I thought I'd bring you to my World of Warcraft Info blog. Now, this is kind of a baby blog for me. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to devote to it, so, and it's fairly new, so... Uh, there are quite a few things that haven't been done yet that I had intended to do, so uh, all of the things that we talked about earlier are things I need to do to this blog, so come look over my shoulder while I do that. Now I have, um, using FTP, already uploaded a couple of the plugins that we talked about. The first one I'm going to take a look at is the database backup plugin. Uh, I use WP DB Manager, and again, look below this video, you'll find a link for that. Um, and what this plugin allows me to do is automatically optimize, repair, backup, uh, restore, even run simple queries, um, you know, if I need to take a look inside my data. So once you've uploaded it to your WP content slash plugins folder, go ahead and activate it. Um, and again, I, I assume you know how to do this. Once you've activated it, the trick here is getting it set up correctly. So notice I'm on database, DB options, and this will be a new area that it adds down below your other settings. Now for most of you, this part here and this part here will already be filled out. This is stuff that typically you won't need to know. And in the event that yours doesn't work, you can try auto-detecting. And in the event that doesn't work, you will need to contact your host. Um, this particular path is not the same for everyone. Um, this is the path to where you want the database backups to reside. Now, I created a folder under WP Content called Backup DB, and that's where I'm going to be placing my backups. Uh, I want to copy both on the server, and I wanted to email it to me. Nothing like belts and suspenders uh, to make sure that you're protected. I also want to instruct it to keep a maximum of 10 backup files. In other words, uh, it's going to save 1 through 10, and then when it's time for it to record the 11th, it'll get rid of the oldest one and then record the new one uh, and place it at that location, which is, again, what we want. Once you've told it the maximum, you want to tell it how often it needs to back up. Now, you have several options. You can do any number here and you can do minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months. Now I typically do it once a day and I do gzip it and the reason is WordPress and PHP, uh, MySQL, they all have built-in limits on how large a file they can restore and the upper limit is 2 meg which if your database is getting uh, pretty large, you've got a lot of tables, um, a lot of posts, a lot of pages, a lot of links, you could easily exceed 2 meg, particularly if you're adding any kind of stats tracking. So by forcing it into gzip, which is kind of a compression technology, you're allowing your database to grow without negatively impacting your ability to restore that. The other thing I do is tell it where it can send the backup. Uh, remember, it's going to keep a copy on the server, but I also want it to email me. Uh, in the event my entire server goes, it doesn't do me any good to have all my backups on this server. So I want and, and keep the last two backups here on my local computer, just in the event that the server goes down. Now with uh, WPDB Manager, I get an additional benefit. There are other backup 
plugins out there, but I get the additional benefit of being able to optimize the database on a schedule. Now, every three days is, is uh, pretty good. Uh, I could up this to about once a week and still be okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, I could probably go up to about once a month and still be okay. But you do want to optimize uh, your your database on a fairly regular basis. Uh, three days for me is about the optimal. Um, if you're noticing some slowdowns on your site, particularly if you have a lot of blogs uh, in your hosting account, you may want to turn this up a little bit. Once you've made these changes, click Save Changes, and at that scheduled time, it will create a backup and place it out on your server. It will, of course, if you've provided an email address here, email that to you as well. Um, in the event that you need to restore a backup, uh, you can come in here and take a look at your database by clicking on Manage Backup DB. Now this will show you the backups that you have to uh, to play with. Uh, and as you can tell, um, I have 10 backups, the latest going back to the 20th and uh, the most recent being, according to my server, uh, today, which is actually, it, it's the 28th where I live, but it's the 29th where the server lives. So it's just turned midnight there, uh, and it's just finished a backup. Um, now I can have one of these, just by selecting them, emailed to me, or I can restore one of these right from my blog's uh, control panel. So if you're not familiar with PHP My Admin, or you're not comfortable with it, uh, this particular plugin provides the means to also restore uh, a backup that you've saved uh, right from within the plugin's control panel. As I mentioned, this particular plugin comes in with some additional features like the ability to optimize or repair a database. Now, most databases, and if you've worked with Access or some of the others, you know that over time uh, it can get fragmented or, or have a problem. Uh, repair database allows you to select which tables you want and then click repair and it'll just walk through each one of them and repair them one at a time which is frankly a great feature. So I, I know we went really fast through the backup but it it doesn't take much. You upload it, activate it, uh, take a quick peek at your DB options to make sure that that's complete and you set the schedule that you want the backup to occur on and then save it and really from then on in unless you need to restore it or unless something you know catastrophic happens that's it it's just gonna do what it needs to do without a lot of intervention from you um, it's just gonna protect you by backing up your database this excerpt was provided as a courtesy to my YouTube subscribers. To see the rest of the video, please visit its homepage by clicking the link in the description.